Hey guys, it's Josh here with Salty Scales. We're going to do an awesome tutorial on how to clean your bait caster. Hey guys, Joshua here with SaltyScales.com. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to clean lube and grease your bait caster. Today I have my Pinnacle Peak GS, uh, which you guys probably seen me do a video on recently. They've been out of commission for a while, so I want to break them down and thoroughly clean them. A few of the utensils or tools you might need is a couple small um, Phillips and flathead screwdriver. I also have some real butter grease, real butter oil, and real clean to clean the external parts of the reel. That's great for moving any salt residue or ex, uh, extra grease that you might have on the reel. You also might want to download a schematics of your reel. I highly recommend this. Uh, just in case you get lost or you misplace a part, this will help you put it back together. You just usually go on the website for the particular reel, look for the diagram, and you can easily print that out. So come along. I'm going to show you how to, and walk you through the different steps, and we're going to get this thing cleaned up. All right, guys, so here we go. We got the Pinnacle Peak in front of us. Uh, first things first, we want to remove this left side plate. So you push in the button, turn it counterclockwise, and pull that plate right off. Okay. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and remove the spool. That pops right out. Now guys, just a little tip. So what I recommend that you do is place everything in the order that you remove them from. And also, a lot of people have a lot of success with taking pictures. So either way you want to do it, just make sure that you align things because when we get to the right side of this reel, uh, it's going to start getting a lot more technical and you, you know there's a lot more pieces involved. So that's pretty much it for this side, guys. Um, what I would first recommend doing is just taking your Q-tip and just going through and cleaning any residue or oil or dirt, grease buildup that you see. And this reel isn't too, too bad dirty. So I'm not gonna get a ton of, it all, a ton of things off of the inside of here. There is some grease filled up inside the reel, and I can tell because it's not as smooth as it used to be. All right, guys, so uh, another tip that I have for you is take this reel uh, clean and just spray it on your Q-tips. This will help remove any excess dirt inside the reel uh, and grease and oil and so forth. And you don't want to go soaking or oversaturating your, your parts, guys, because obviously you don't want it to affect um, the new grease and the new oil that you plan to add here in the later steps of this tutorial. Alright, so next thing um, we want to do is remove the screw, which I had already done. Then what you want to do is pop this little plate off. And I just gently work it to where it starts to give way here and just gently pull it up. Now each reel is going to be different guys. This has inside of here, it has a little click uh, spring and a click pin. And I don't know if you can see this. Let me show you. This is the little click pin. Right. So you got to be careful. You could obviously see how small that pin is. So I'm going to lay that aside. And the spring if you're looking at it, it's recessed inside of this little hole here. So I'll leave that there and leave it upright so it doesn't pop out. Standard nut uh, for this is the 10 millimeter. So just get you a little ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket. Loosen that up and lay that aside here. Alright, so now we have our handle assembly. This will pop right off. Just lay that aside. Alright, now you, this is when you want to start being careful here. This is where the, the springs and a lot of the other components are. So, here we go. Put that. The star wheel aside, then the spring. And then once again, we have another nut. 
All right, guys, so you just want to loosen this nut here and gently pull it off here. Lay that aside. Then you have a bunch of your drag washers down here, guys. And I usually like to just pull them off all at one time, keep them together, and leave them stacked on top of one another. That way it takes the guesswork out of how they went on, how they should go back on. And I missed one. All right. So that's that. Now, you'll notice externally on this particular reel, there's no screws. And when that's the case, it's usually a good indicator that they're on the inside, which you can see them here. I have a total of two screws only in this particular reel. Um, yeah, two that I see that holds it on. A lot of times though, you'll find that other brands will have usually three so let's go ahead and remove these three or uh, two screws so use a little phillips screwdriver and be sure that you're paying attention guys to make sure that these screws are the same because sometimes they're not sometimes one's longer or shorter than the other you always want to put it back just the way you took it apart so we'll say that's the top screw and this is the side screw. Okay. And these appear to be the same size, so no worries there. Should be able to gently pry this open here. I'm going to be very gentle. Oh, it appears that we might have one more. Yep, it's all the way up here in the very front. It's hiding. And it's a different screw than the other two, so. No mistaking the three. All right, so guys, when you're taking this apart, it's better to keep this face up just like this. Uh, and the reason for that is because as you can see, there's a lot of components here that could easily disappear on you if you're not careful. So be very careful and cognizant of what you're doing there. Now going back to the Q-tip, spray it with a little real clean, and like I said, I'll just go through here and remove any of the excess old grease. And honestly, this looks pretty clean. Uh, actually, a lot cleaner than I anticipated, anticipated that it would be. But you could look in here, there's a lot of excess grease. And you know, from the factory guys, I don't know that they put the best grease on these things because you know, I found that when you put this real grease um, in the real butter, it's a lot, a lot smoother. It just seems to function so much better on the reels than the factory stuff. You'll see on the side plate here guys, a little bearing. And what you want to do is you just want to take a little drop of oil, just one little drop, and drop that right on that bearing there. And what that is, that's the tensioner, or the tension um, knob there, and this is the bearing for it. So you want that to be nice and greased up to prevent any issues. Um, going back to this here, I'm just removing any of the excess grease and the old grease. Well, in order to know when you've cleaned this enough, guys, um, you pretty much just want to remove all of the old 
and cruddy grease. I mean, that's really what you're looking for. You don't have to get too, too crazy with it. Anything that's clumpy, anything that's, um, you know, noticeably standing out, those are the things that you want to take care of. And, uh, you know, get cleaned up out of here. Because those are the things that are going to impact the moving parts the, the most. I like this wheel is pretty dry, this little flywheel here. And that's probably part of why the reel is feeling a little um, sticky, so to speak. Alright, so now to apply new grease, guys, all you got to do is apply it a little bit of grease to this flywheel here. And that's what I'm going to do. Looks not want to come out of here. There we go. And how I do that is I just gently take a little bit and just pack it in where the teeth are here. And like I said, you don't want to you don't want to get crazy with this guys. And you can just literally run it through. Spin this dial a couple times and this will spread the grease throughout the different teeth here on the row. And you also have a couple little moving parts in here and you want to make sure those contact points get just a little bit of grease. Alright guys, so the bearings down inside of here also I just take a little oil, a couple drops, and make sure these are nice, nice and greased or oiled. Uh, after that, then we just go ahead and start the reassembly process. You just want to be very careful and make sure that you're putting this thing on um, accordingly. So just ease this right back down. And I take a little shaft nut here, push that down in there. And that should go flush like so. Alright. And now you can turn this over gently. Alright. I'm going to tighten my first little nut here. And guys, you don't want to over tighten. Just, you know, Tighten them and to where they're snug and not not more than that. I'm just putting my three screws back in to prevent this from moving, from prevent anything from shaking around. Whoop. One just tried to escape me. Alright, so this is the, the last of the three screws. All right, so that plate's back on. So now what we could do is start from this side here, literally going down the line with each part and placing them back together on the reel, just as if they just as they came off. Guys, with this particular um, nut here, you want to make sure that it goes on straight, and you'll know if it's not. If it's if it feels as if it's going on crooked, stop right there because the last thing you want to do is strip the threads on the shaft. And you can just gently tighten this, just gently hand tighten it. Nothing crazy. All right. Go ahead and place this knob back on. Tensioner knob. Here's the spring. That lays right on the shaft. Here's the star. All right, that goes straight down on there like so. And then the handle, just lay that right on top of there. And then we have our nut. 10 millimeter nut. That goes on again, just like with the other one. Make sure that it's on straight. 
All right, I think we got it. So hand tighten that. And then what you want to do is just get your ratchet. And don't go balls to the wall, you guys just tighten it you know, until it's snug. All right, lastly guys, is the little casing here. And this is the one um, that I was telling you about with the click spring and the click pin inside of here. You gotta be very careful and you gotta place this little click pin inside this click spring like so. See how it just sits in there? And now what you gotta do is literally take the reel and hold it upside down or sideways like so until this pops into place. Like so. And you could turn you see how you can now hear it? Now if I would have done that before I would put that pen in, you would not have been able to audibly hear the, um, the drag tightening and loosening. Lastly, you just want to put your little nut in. This prevents that from all coming undone. Like so. Nothing too crazy. That's already 10 times smoother, guys. All right, back to the side plate, guys. Uh, you also want to just take a and put a drop of oil in here in that bearing. And I also clean just the excess grease off of the shaft here. And what I usually do is down in here, I'll just take one little drop of oil and let that fall down on there. Just like so. All right, so now we can go ahead and put our shaft back on. Now, once again, I forgot to take this. So you just gently put, put it through, like so. Let me pull my line through, make sure it doesn't get caught up. And then you take your side plate, pop this right back on, click it in, turn it up. And there we are. Got that. All right. Now what you want to do, guys, is the worm shaft. You see this little shaft in here? That is what drives your level line to make sure your line goes on evenly. So all I like to do is take a little drop and put it on the shaft here, and then slowly work the reel. Let that grease work in, work itself in to the uh, shaft. And go ahead and put a little bit more on this side here. Make sure that we get an even spread in there. And do the same thing, work the shaft. And guys, that is it. That's all there is to properly cleaning and lubricating your bait caster. If you like this video, guys, please give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below. We do appreciate you guys' support, and if you have a suggestion as to what you know, another tutorial that you'd like, uh, please comment as well. Uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you on the water.